this game was absolutely unbelievable. You know, there's never been anything like it before. Games Workshop, we were at the center of all this. We had the game on the strength of an initial order of six copies of Dungeons and Dragons. On the back of that order, we got a three-year exclusive distribution agreement for Europe. Steve had a van called Van Morrison. And so we found a small office the side of a bread bin in Shepherd's Bush. Well, we lived in my van. Then go to the bread bin that was Games Workshop and stay in there, you know, working till seven, eight o'clock at night. So the whole thing was growing and growing. Well, the early days of, of Workshop, we were making it up as we went along. We were hobbyists ourselves and we were trying to build a business and not really understanding how that should be done. You know, all our literature was fairly amateurish. Here's our, our figures catalogue, here's our games catalog all in glorious black and white now we had no money all our money was going into into stock but um you know when you decide your own destiny it's it is you know it's an enjoyable experience even though it was hardship at the time and we loved every minute of it we started games workshop in 1975 that was you know 42 years ago and people ask me quite a lot these days how was it back then what was it like to be you know, right at the beginning of this extraordinary hobby that you know, led to all sorts of things from video games to interactive books to our own fighting fantasy game books. How did it all start? And uh, when Unbound contacted me and said, we'd like to write a book about the early days of Games Workshop, we thought, <laughs> definitely, let's uh, let the book do some of our job for us. So we we're delighted to, to uh, participate in this. And it'd be brilliant to tell the story of how it all happened and how Workshop was really the primordial soup of the, of the games industry back in the day and uh, I hope people will really enjoy reading this book.